Okay. The last player we're linked with today. Um, did I do this? I don't think I did. Right. I can't take that. I'm not that. I'm not arrogant. Right. I'm not going to do that. I'm not. Oh, look, I you, mentioned you the player and now we're linked. You mentioned him before. I brought him out, but then again, also anybody who knows the lower league football would mention him as well. But I yes. think the fan base. So about three or four episodes ago, when we were asked who we should sign next season, we, we were asked about it on a topic and I did a lot of digging, right? You know, it was probably over a month ago sort of thing. We both did our research and I came back because we desperately needed a keeper in my opinion, yes. and we still do. I came back with Josh Griffiths, who is a West Brom keeper on loan at Cheltenham. And as I said, I don't know what sparked the interest in our fan base, but and I don't know if it's because we talked about it or because like there's been a link somewhere. I couldn't find a link, and that's why I'm saying the, where the, the hell has it come from? The only link I can think is Darren Moore. Yeah, but I can't find a link in the media. I can, no. but I can, I can now see him coming into the media speculation pages because Wednesday fans are asking about him, right? Okay. Yeah. Which I can, could, which I can probably think that they've come to their own conclusion. Doesn't matter where it comes from, to be honest. I just thought it was a really interesting one, and I was like, ah, "And we need a keeper." I'd love for him to actually, uh, to actually look at him. But yeah, so a lot of Wednesday fans have been asking the local journalists if there's any. So are we going in for him? Um, and I'll tell you what I found at the time, and I've done some further research now. The now the seasons ended, so he's a 19 year old with a contract running out at the end of June. So. He's, he's only really been with the West Brom under 23s until the Cheltenham loan. Mm. He could be a compo situation if, if we were to sign him, but I really think he's going to get a really good deal at West Brom and he's going to go out on loan if that's yeah. going to be the case. Um, he's got a 72 save percentage in League Two for a Cheltenham side that did very well. And they played a back five and it was a comfortable back five. And that is the fit for me. That is the link there. Yeah. If he's going to play a back five more, he wants a goalkeeper that's comfortable with that, right? And this is the step. He's got 21 clean sheets in 44 appearances. I put it could be a temporary fix because it could be a loan, you know, while we readjust and, and decide what we're going to do for the keeping position he did that in the at future. Donny. He did do that at Donny way, loan keepers in. If we, I, hate, I hate doing it because it's a position that's so influential. And look at United losing Dean Henderson and all that. You know, it's, that's, a, that's a very current sign of a downfall, right? But... <laughs> Funnily enough, Ramsdale's got their player of the year apparently as well. But uh, it's, <laughs> but West Brom um, could be selling Sam Johnston, who's now got England pedigree, and that's why I link that with that because he, I think offers could come in for him because he's obviously got that England link and they've been relegated, which means Josh Griffiths could have a chance with that relegated West Brom side, you know, because they'd already had thirteen football lower league. Mm-hmm. They've probably called, have, West, have West Brom got a manager name yet? I know uh, Wilder's set, apparently set to have it, but have they picked anyone yet? I've not seen it. I've not seen it as uh, the time of recording this. He's conceded 37 in 44. I thought it'd be interesting to, to sync it up with our other goalkeepers, his percentages. I've told you about his 72% in League 2. This is this season for our three keepers. And this is interesting, right? Because it actually made me think of them in a, in a better light. Well, some goalkeepers in a better light. So Cameron Dawson has played eight matches this season and he's conceded nine goals. So he's conceded more than he's played. 68% yep. save percentage and three clean sheets out of those eight matches. That, if you compare it to his two leagues higher and his 72% for League Two, obviously that's over 44 appearances. That's only eight, right? That's yep. only a 4% difference. Dawson, not too bad on that one, but we do know Dawson likes a parry and the parry has cost us. Yeah. So that's what stats don't tell you. And that's why I'm saying take it with a pinch of salt, right? Oh, God. Wildsmith stats. And I really like Wildsmith in terms of like, you know, I thought he was going to be the actual proper number, also, number two for again, us. Also, again, congratulations. Got engaged. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, everyone's getting engaged. I, these stats maybe say something different, right? Because I was more confident with Wildsmith and all of that. But he's played 19. He conceded 28 in 19. With a 60% save percentage and five clean sheets in 19. That is not good stats wise. And obviously, he didn't inspire the back four as much as when Westwood came in. Westwood this season had one of his worst seasons in a Wednesday shirt, right? Funnily enough, he played 20 matches, conceded 24, right? So he conceded less than Wildsmith in more games. Is that right about his save percentage? 68.2% save percentage, yeah. Jeez. So he's got the same save percentage as Dawson, but over more matches. Yet again, 4% off 
That's why I said yeah. Dawson, probably stats-wise, he's not got as much credit. Set 4% off the 72% that they got in the Cheltenham side. But yeah, five clean sheets for Westwood. Again, matches Wildsmith, not great on the clean sheets. But it's worth mentioning that I look back through Westwood's history because I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't slay. I did this for all the keepers, by the way. Dawson and Wildsmith, they've not it's not looking great, which is why I didn't mention it, but I thought this is a bit of a positive for Westwood. It's his first season since his first season with Wednesday, when he joined Wednesday, that his save percentage has dropped below 70%. Within the 18-19 season, his save percentage was 80%. That is the keeper that Kieran Westwood was yeah. in the championship, right? And that is that is why I don't know why we've released him. Because cause I look at Josh Griffith's stats and I think he'd be a brilliant fit for us. But why the hell did we release Westwood? I think it contract. contract it's it's got to be. It's got to be. The, th- the thing is, the, what you've got to remember with Wild Smith and Dawson, I believe Dawson's got the longer contract. I think we offered him a four-year deal. So there's yeah, something I, there. That I think Wild club... Smith will go. Yeah. I genuinely do. Um, if he does, fair play to him. Good luck where he goes. But we've... We've not been blessed in having keepers, young keepers, come through the ranks in the past and try and make a claim. We'd always had to go out and get like some sort of experienced keeper. I do think that this Josh Griffiths thing, I think West Brom will give him another contract. I would be pushing everything to try and get him on a free and do the 300, 400k compo. Yeah. That'd be brilliant. That'd be a great I don't one. think that's going to happen because he's going to take a big money deal at West Brom and probably come on loan to a... I don't know if they want to go straight into the championship, but I think for he his might be career, league one. well, Cheltenham are up in League One now as well. Yeah, That's the thing; he back. could go back to Cheltenham because he's got that there. But I would like to see us try and get him in on loan and go and push at the top of the uh, of League One. I think that'd be a great move for him. As you said, the Darren Moore West Brom link, maybe it's there. The only thing that would wrap that is if Wilder got it. We did sell Wilder Lavery. So please do us a favour. <laughs> and know, he's a good mate with Darren Moore, so we'll see. see. We'll see what happens. But I do think that it would be a temporary fix. But if we, we're not, we, I'm not, I'm not confident in us getting the decision right anyway. So we might as well do a temporary fix. But it is a case of he is a young keeper, you know. He's going to be 20. And we know, we, we know it's the position we need. To yeah. Do. We definitely need to do it. I mean, in is my it, opinion, I, in my opinion... My honest opinion, as much as I hate saying this to two Wednesday fans, it's probably best the amount of stick they've got that they move on, bring Josh Griffiths and another keeper in. Yeah. Uh, and bring another keeper that's potentially somebody... Bring, bring in one of the lower league keepers in, uh, Jackson, is it Jackson Rayner? Or something I'm like that. I'm not sure, that. mate. I can't remember. But yeah, let us know what you think about um, Griffiths in the comment section.